Hello and welcome to this week's Fighting Scott Sports Report. I am Tyler Trumbauer. The finale of the 2014 Edinburgh football season was Saturday at Sox Harrison Stadium and the Scots were hoping to end the year with a two-game winning streak. It was senior day at Sox Harrison Stadium as the 2-8 and eight Edinburgh Fighting Scots hosted the 1-9 and nine Millersville Marauders in some PSAC 2014 football finale. The defense of the Fighting Scots came to play on Saturday with the strip here and fumble recovery, but the Fighting Scots offensively could not take advantage of that. They did, uh, though, later in the match between these two, but Millersville got on the board first with a nice four-yard pass from Matt Misley to Tyler Zellin there in the back of the end zone. Corey Beck with a 30-yard pick six there for the Fighting Scots to knot it up at seven. In the third quarter, Cody Harris, the sixth-year senior, finds, finds Darren Massey on a 16-yard pass in back of the end zone. And then Ryan Harkness with a two-yard run to solidify the win for the Fighting Scots, 21-9 to nine to wrap up the season at three and eight. Burrow now enters its offseason, its first full one with new offensive coordinator Mike Miller and try to replace the 10 seniors, including quarterback Cody Harris. The swim team made the quick jaunt to Meadville on Friday night to face off against Division III Allegheny College. The scores were tight between the Scots and the Allegheny College Gators. The team split on the night. The women's team suffered a crushing 115 to 114 loss, while the men's team earned a 103 to 99 win over Allegheny as the Scots won the last event of the meet to take the victory. Stacy Schreckengoss led the way for the ladies with three wins. Josh Bebo and Tony Romanini of the men's team each earned two wins. Edinburgh has a few weeks off for rest before returning to action at the Wooster Invitational in Wooster, Ohio, which begins on December 4th. The wrestling team was in Michigan on Saturday competing in the EMU duels as the Scots were looking to bounce back after their upset loss to Pitt to open their dual meet schedule. The grapplers swept the day, defeating Central Michigan, Northern Illinois, and upsetting 8th ranked Michigan. That upset was Edinburgh's first win ever against the Wolverines. Individually, Mitchell Port, Austin Matthews, and AJ Shop all picked up three victories on Saturday. Edinburgh hits the mat next on December 4th when Cleveland State comes to Macomb Fieldhouse at 7 p.m. That match can be seen live on ETV. The women's basketball season tipped off this weekend as the ladies competed in the Atlantic Region Challenge hosted by Millersville on Saturday and Sunday. The Scots started the season with a win by defeating Chowan University 75-59. Hope Mancini was the leading scorer in the game with 26 points. Also, Laurel Lindsay contributed eight assists, making her tied for 11th in school history in that category. The success continued for the ladies on Sunday as a big second half surge. The Scots passed University of Virginia Y 78 to 65. Mancini once again led the way for the Scots with 14 points. Also, Anya Freeland and, Lindsay, and Laurel Lindsay chipped in 12 points apiece. The ladies returned to action Wednesday night as they traveled to Seton Hill to open up PSAC play. The women's volleyball team lives to see another day as the Fighting Scots were selected for the NCAA tournament as the bracket was announced Sunday night during a selection show streaming live on the NCAA's website. The Scots qualified as the seventh seed and will face PSAC foe Clarion in the first round in West Virginia. The Golden Eagles earn the second seed in the Atlantic region. If the Scots win, they will face either Mercyhurst or California of Pennsylvania. The Vulcans won the PSAC title on Sunday afternoon by sweeping Seton Hill. The details of the first round matchup have not yet been announced. That does it for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at ETV Sports to stay up to date on all the latest Burrow athletic happenings.